again, boys and girls. I have another one of my very favorite stories. I listened to this a lot when I was little, and there was a song that I remember listening to when I first started learning how to teach called The Three Billy Goats Gruff. And I can't stop thinking about the trip, 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 trip trip these little goats took when they crossed the bridge. I wonder why they would cross a bridge. Any guesses? Well, make your predictions. This story was retold because it's a very old story. This one was retold by Mary Finch and the illustrator or the artist is Roberta Aronson and it looks like she might have painted them or made a collage from different shapes. Pass the cover. Here's our introduction. We've got the small, the medium, and the large billy goat. And this is another really important character. Who do you think he might be? What do you think this story might be about? Most fairy tales start out this way. Oh, once upon a time, there were three billy goats gruff. There was a little billy goat gruff, a middle-sized billy goat gruff, and a big billy goat gruff. The three billy goat scruff lived in a field and they spent their days munching on the green grass. On one side of the field, there was a stream and over the stream, there was a rickety bridge. On the other side of the rickety bridge, there was a hill and there was grass and it grew greener and sweeter than it did in the field of the billy goat scruff. Sounds delicious, doesn't it? Well, under the rickety bridge lived a big, hairy troll in a deep dark hole. It was damp and cold under the bridge and that made the troll furious. That means really mad. He was also hungry. So there's our problem. One day the little billy goat gruff looked up and saw that the grass on the hill on the other side of the stream looked very green and sweet. I think I'll move over there for my next course he said and then I'll grow big and fat. So Trip, 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 went the hooves of the little billy goat gruff as he started to cross the rickety bridge. What do you think's gonna happen next? The picture gives us a clue. The big hairy troll woke up with a start. <gasps> Who's that crossing my bridge, he roared. I am, said the little billy goat gruff. I'm crossing the bridge to eat the grass on the other side of the stream. Oh no, you're not, said the big hairy troll, and he sang. I'm a troll from a deep dark hole. My belly's getting thinner. I need to eat and a goat is a treat. So I'll have you for my dinner. <gasps> uh oh, how do you think the little billy goat felt about that? Oh no, don't do that, said the little billy goat gruff. I am only small. I wouldn't make much of a mouthful. Wait for my brother. Pretty nice, right? He's much bigger. And he skipped over the rickety bridge to the other side. Way to throw him right under the bus, right? Well, just then, the middle-sized billy goat gruff looked up and he too saw the green grass on the other side of the stream. It looked very green and sweet. I think I'll move over there for my next course, he said, and then I'll grow bigger and fatter. So, trip, 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 went the hooves of the middle-sized billy goat gruff and he started to cross the rickety bridge. Who's that crossing my bridge, roared the big hairy troll. I am, said the middle-sized Billy Goat Gruff, I am crossing the bridge to eat the grass on the other side of the stream. Oh, no, you're not, said the big hairy troll, and he sang. I'm a troll from a deep dark hole, and my belly's getting thinner. I need to eat, and goat's a treat, so I'll have you for my dinner. Oh, no, 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 don't do that, said the middle-sized Billy Goat Gruff. I'm not very big. I wouldn't make much of a mouthful. Wait for my brother. See the pattern? He skipped over the rickety bridge to the other side. So who would come next? We know who this is. Just then, the big billy goat gruff looked up and he too saw the grass on the other side of the stream looked very green and sweet. I think I'll go over there for my next course, he said. Then I'll grow even bigger and fatter. So, trip, 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 with the hooves of the big billy goat gruff and he started to cross the rickety bridge. Now, we know what's been going on, so, Who's that crossing my bridge? Roared the big hairy troll. I am, said the big billy goat gruff. I am crossing the bridge to eat the grass on the other side of the stream. Oh no, you're not, said the big hairy troll, and he sang. I'm a troll from a deep dark hole and my belly's getting thinner. I need to eat and go to a treat so I'll have you for my dinner. Oh, the big billy goat gruff stopped. 
His knees shook, his hooves trembled, clickety-clack, clickety-clack under that rickety bridge, and then he pulled himself together. I don't think you will, he said, and he picked up his hooves and he kicked the troll into the middle of next week. And the billy goat gruff crossed the bridge. Then the billy goat gruff skipped over that bridge to join his brothers on the other side of the hill. As for the big hairy troll, I am happy to say that he was never seen again. Not all stories end with the end, but the author does tell us that the troll went away. He found a different place to go. And that's the end of the three Billy Goats Gruff. But that story doesn't end because there's other versions I want to share with you, like the three Billy Goats Fluff. So stay tuned and stay well.